passed. It will allow President Gotabaya Rajapaksa to dissolve the parliament and it'll give him full immunity against prosecution. It would replace a bill from 2015 that strengthened the role of the parliament. Minel Fernandez brings us more now from Colombo. In the building behind me, the Sri Lankan parliament is where it's all happening at. Uh, when the Justice Minister Ali Sabri uh, tabled that draft for the first reading, uh, he did it to howls of protest by the opposition. Obviously, the amendment seeks uh, to kind of claw back all uh, the sweeping powers the executive president lost in the last amendment to the constitution brought by the previous government. Now, this uh, once again creates an all-powerful presidency, and that is an issue that many uh, quarters have expressed concern with. It talks about the removal of any monitoring, any checks, any balances against the executive president. He's able to sack the parliament after a year. Uh, he's able to make appointments to high officers, very sensitive officers, the Chief Justice, the heads of armed forces, the heads of independent commissions, which were uh, the fruit of uh, sort of the previous government and the constitutional amendments. Uh, so these are things that are concerning a lot of people, uh, particularly the fact that with these changes, uh, the president essentially can run the whole show himself. The prime minister and the cabinet uh, become sort of bystanders. Uh, he does not need to seek uh, their approval or, or sanction. He can uh, go on with the business of government. And this is what uh, is creating concern.